the shout itself, I'd like it to be whichever voice actor we find to do it. Someone to speak for each race in the game, say, or something like that. Okay, this guy sounds good as the Nord, this person sounds good as the, the female Argonian and that sort of thing. Um, I have, we kind of figured out the technical part of how they work as you get each level of the shout, each word. Hopefully we'll record them a few times doing the shout as best they can. And then on top of that, when you hear it in the game, I'll just reverb the hell out of it. And then put some sort of magic effect with it, whatever the shout does. Those two together, as we've tried them out, seem to work pretty well. Um, it was something I was a little worried about, though. As far as things I knew that were going to be in this game that were going to be a bit of a challenge was probably that and the dragons. Um, never done a dragon before, so uh, it's one thing to go look at movies where you they have something similar, but uh, uh, it's another to try to come up with it yourself. You know, using animal recordings. I tried just screaming myself um, and trying to manipulate that in some way. And I think in the end, it's a it's like a bit of everything. Um, it's a little bit of the animal, it's a little bit of me, it's a little bit of this. And so once you've got the first one, then the next problem is, well, now I need 30 more of those. I need, uh, he screams like this. He, he screams when he takes off. He screams when he dies. And it's very, very different. Can I, you know, can, can I make variations of that from the one that I happened upon into kind of by accident? Uh, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just experimenting and spending a lot of time. Um, that's the other downside of that, I guess. And uh, some of it I haven't solved yet. Uh, I'm sure we'll do different things with the dragon as we go forward because we still have a lot of time left. Um, you know, we, we're going to have, uh, I believe we're going to be having them speak. So who do we, how do they speak? Do they sound like people? Do we find kind of someone with just a naturally very deep voice and try a straight read? That's sort of what I'm hoping for, is to find someone who already has a very interesting gravelly or deep voice uh, have them affect it in some way to put on some sort of, not an accent per se, but just a manner of speaking, whether they drop their pitch or slow it down or something like that. Um, I think a lot of times people think that I can kind of just turn a knob or put some sort of filter on the voice. In Fallout, I could do that because the robots, uh, if you put some sort of electronic filter on it, it sounds appropriate. It's very hard, I think, to do something to the, a natural person's voice beyond pitching it a small degree up or down um, and fool people to where they, it doesn't sound like it's been run through a computer in some way. Uh, so like I said, in Fallout, we had leeway to do all that sort of thing. This voice came through an intercom. This person was a robot. This was the master computer talking to you. Uh, this time, it's supposed to be a flesh and bone dragon, magical though it may be. So I'm going to have to find somebody who is already... Uh, very imposing, I suppose, to begin with. And then we'll see if we can't experiment a while and push them one direction or the other.